Well, hello there, folks. Thanks for joining us again on Poly Vegan Kitchen. Today, we're making topai. For those of you that don't know what topai is, it is a Tongan dish that is basically flour dumplings in coconut milk with some sugar. That's what it is. It's very basic, but it is delicious. Here are our ingredients. We have grated coconut and I have sugar here. It's pure cane sugar, flour, and coconut milk. I also like to add soy milk to mine. That just kind of helps to cut the richness for me, but you can use pure coconut milk if you want. So because I've made topai probably a million times, I don't really measure. I kind of just throw everything inside the bowl and I pray for the best. No, I'm just kidding. I throw everything in the bowl and then I adjust. If it's the if the dough is too wet, I add more flour. If it's too dry, I add more liquid. But I'll put the measurements in the description box below and you can test it out for yourself and adjust to your liking. So I add salt. I don't know why I add salt. I always hear that it helps to uh, enhance the flavor, but I don't know. I just do it and because I see everyone else doing it. Then I add sugar, not too much, uh, because you're going to be adding sugar to the liquid part of this dish. And then you can adjust the sweetness to your liking. And then you just swish it around. Make sure you mix that real good. And then it's time for your liquids. Let's add our liquid. We're going to add the water to the dough and stir. Try not to over mix, but you want to make sure that all that flour gets mixed in that liquid. So I can tell that it's a little too dry. The dough's not sticking together just yet. So I'm going to add a little bit more water and keep stirring, trying to get all that uh, flour and water into one big piece of dough because I forgot to add it earlier we're going to add our grated coconut right now I like to buy this frozen uh, grated coconut from the Asian store I think you can get it from the Miko store as well but in my opinion this is the next best thing to fresh grated coconut so let's go ahead and try and mix this grated coconut in. It felt a little dry to me, so I put more water, but I think I put a little too much water and you'll see what I mean. Um, I had to put the spoon down and mix everything together. And once I started using my hands, I could feel that the dough was a little too wet and you don't want it too wet because then your dumplings will come out like gummy and not like topai. You can see that the dough is sticking to my hand. That's too wet. That dough is way too wet. So um, I'm gonna add some more flour. I added flour and then I kneaded and felt it and added more flour and kneaded a little bit more until I got it to the consistency that you see right here. Okay, so this is the perfect consistency for this uh, dough, for the topai. You don't want it too wet. You don't want it too dry. When you knead it, you don't want it to be sticking all over your hands. When you press on it, it's not sticking to your fingers. So this is perfect. And if you notice, it's not a smooth ball either because you're not kneading it like you are, like you would do for bread. And then I like to get a wet paper towel and I just lay the paper towel over the um, the dough to let it rest. Okay, our dough has rested and now it's time to make our little dumplings. For those of you that are expert topai makers, you can skip this step um, because those experts, they just use spoons and they scoop it out of the dough ball and throw it into the water. Me, because of my OCD, I like my dumplings to kind of be uniform in size and I like them to be smaller than the average topai. So I take the time 
and I make the little dumpling balls ahead of time. You see, I just grab a little piece and I don't compact the dough too much. You just kind of want to get a semi-circle uh, shape. Now I've been trying to figure out why they call this dish Dōbai, and I think I know why. Dō in the Tongan language means fall, or in this case, drop, and bai means dumplings. That's what I'm gonna call it. And there you go. Do bai. We're dropping the dumplings off at the pool. And now they're going to cook. They're going to sink to the bottom. And the way you know they're cooked is when they float to the top. So I'm going to drop all these dumplings in there. Be very careful. You don't want to drop it from too high because then the boiling water will splash up and burn you. And do bai is not worth getting burned for. So once you get all your topai or your dumplings in there, give it a good stir so that they're not sticking to each other and then let it boil again. And once all of the dumplings rise to the top, that means they're cooked. Now they're starting to float to the top. That means they're cooked. You want to stir frequently so that nothing is sticking to the bottom of the pot and they're not sticking to each other. After the dobai is completely cooked, you want to spill out most of the water that you cooked the dobai in and then you can add the rest of your ingredients. I like to add shredded coconut into mine because it tastes yummy when you can bite into those coconut shreds um, when you're drinking the, the liquid. Let's add the soy milk in. And then we can add our coconut milk and we're going to let it boil again. We can let it boil for about three or four minutes. And after that, it's done. And you can enjoy this delicious topai. Well, thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed your time with us. Please don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Leave a comment. And remember, no matter where you are in your journey, there is always room for you on our table right here at Polly Vegan Kitchen. <laughs>